shopping. Thankfully, Norm is like, he knows everything about cameras. He's really gonna help me out because I have no idea what I'm doing. We're in Akihabara, which is a really great place to buy electronics. They have lots of good deals. Really, really great selection. So where are we going today? Today we're gonna go to Yodobashi Camera right here in Akihabara. It's got like, what, seven floors of it's absolute huge. craziness. <laughs> and yeah. you can get really hands-on with the cameras, which is really the most important yeah, part. Yeah, that's what I really wanna do. Try them all out and find one that I'm comfortable with. But I really wanna up the quality a little bit to what I have now. So, fingers crossed we can find something. Let's go. We weren't kidding. It's freaking huge. <laughs> if this place doesn't have a camera, I'm screwed. I, I think this is our best shot. Third floor. So, what do you got right now? The G7X Mark One. Okay. And interchangeable lenses. Mm. See, even something like this, I don't know how heavy this would be. It wouldn't be too bad. Mm. It is pricey. So this okay. is the camera I was originally wanting to test out, the Canon EOS M5. All right, so this is the possible new camera. I'm just testing it out right now to see if the focus is decent enough. It's actually pretty quick focus. It's not bad, yeah. And if it stays in focus when I'm like moving. As you can see, it has a really nice blurry background, which is what I wanted. All right, let's go back to my old camera. All right, guys, good news. Norm has helped me pick out a really nice camera. Yes, we did. We didn't purchase it here because it would be about $300 cheaper if I get it on Amazon. So yeah. <laughs> gonna go home and order it on Amazon. I think all in, camera, mic, and everything else, you're gonna be saving like 400 bucks. Yeah. Every little part that I decided I needed, like I need a little um, adjustment piece for my tripod and a new mic. Uh, it's really bright. The camera itself and then the lens. Yeah, all together probably saving over $400. So make sure to check things online when you're shopping in Japan. Akihabara is known for good deals, but they do have lots of overpriced stuff as well. Yeah. We're really hungry now, so we're gonna get lunch. We're heading to Komaki Shokudo vegan restaurant here in Akihabara. I actually didn't know this existed. Found it! Our lunch has arrived. We got some brown rice. They're all out of white, but that's good because I prefer brown. Me too. Um, came with miso soup, it looks like. And then we could choose our side dishes. I don't know what this is, but it looked nice and healthy, so I got that one. And then this one is curried uh, daikon radish and then some curry. And this is my first ever vegan experience. <laughs> so he, he got the same thing as me. I hope you like it. I, I might need to go get some meat after this. <laughs> <laughs> We're all finished our lunch. That was a very healthy tasting lunch. <laughs> it was good, but this is definitely not vegan junk food. I feel healthy. I'm full. I'm happy. Norm, not so happy. Norm wants I'm happy. Hamburger. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. He really wants a hamburger. <laughs> I might get a hamburger, but I'm happy. We'll right. definitely check out a snack store later. Yeah, Norm's got some really cool places to show me. So that's what we're gonna do now. I asked you guys on Patreon what you wanted to see today. I told you I was going to Akihabara. Plus, if you voted for nerdy stuff, um, some gacha. I uh, just want to see some shops. The sun is setting already. The sun sets at 4.30 now in Japan. So Norm's taking me to a secret location. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Three. Actually, Three. two secret locations mm -hmm. and one just nifty location. All right, let's do this. Where are we going, Norm? Location number one. We're sandwiched in between yeah. two yeah, buildings. Exactly. Watch your head. <laughs> I welcome you to the secret hidden shrine of Akihabara. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little shrine in here. In between all these buildings, we're surrounded by buildings, but hidden down here is a little Shinto shrine. Can't go in though, it's. Well, you can go this far. Little foxes guarding it. I had no idea this existed, and I've walked past this area several times. 
I found that these are some of mine and my husband's favorite gacha because they're just freaking adorable. Is there one that looks like Mario yet? No, there never is. Step up your Scottish fold game. This is adorable and my friend is a big fan of cinema roll, so I'm gonna get one of these. She'll like that. All right, off to our next secret spot. I don't know where Norm's taking me. Look at the fluffy Vaporeon in there. Oh no. Everybody said hi. Yeah, I called it. You're I so said, cute. Whoa, what's up here? here? Right? Okay. Radios and whatnot over here. But this little shop here, they have everything shop. You weren't old kidding. Radios, they really do have everything. Super old cameras. They have checking machines. Really old cameras. Whoa. You get like a legit Mahjong set. A super, super old camera. Can I sell my old cell phones here? Apparently there's an iPhone. <laughs> I've probably over the years spent at least two, three hundred dollars here. Really? Little stuff that what kind of stuff do you buy? Like this right here. Like, look at the unexpected price on these iPods. Terribly lit video. <laughs> this will do it. Norm's vlogging over here, but I found more gotcha. Umaru! Where were these when I was like okay, obsessed with Umaru? Oh my god, these are so cute! What the hell is this? It's a nabe full of mochi sumo wrestlers. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is another one I was looking for for Halloween. I was gonna dress the cats up in costumes. Charlotte's back into the gacha, but I know how to pull her out. Hey Charlotte, remember that van I showed you earlier? Yes. That has like... That, that was my yeah. looking for creepers. Yeah. Let me show you why they have those vans. Yeah. So Norm has just shown me this case full of like hentai goods. <laughs> wait, like... <laughs> wait, to make me so really. I love, I love how he knew exactly where this you know place was. Norm. I'm not showing you the third location. Norm. <laughs> okay, see these? The pen, and there's like a gum case. Um, these glasses up here. These are all cameras. They have mini cameras in them. Every single one of them. That is so creepy. You can see it if you look here. Really small camera. Why are these even legal? Are they legal? They're totally legal, unfortunately. That's so gross. We're heading to our next secret location, but it looks like everybody else knows Norm's secret location. Hey, hey. <laughs> Nobody knows well. It's been five years, right, since you've been here? Maybe it's like a popular tourist spot now. I'm just surprised to see this many people using this bridge. This was like my quiet bridge. <laughs> oh, like, over the river. It's just businessmen. No noisy shops. Just a noisy train. We are at Norm's third secret spot. This one's pretty awesome. This one takes the cake. It's the creepy Akihabara vending machine area. They sell some pretty weird things in here. I'm honestly very surprised. I've seen many vending machines through my 11, 12 years in Japan, but I think these ones win for the most random. It starts off normal. We have some Kelpis water, all right, and then we have meat sauce for spaghetti. Plastic beetle toys. Oh, this row is pretty normal. Some like wind chime. This is my personal favorite. These are train tickets from the Showa era. Really old train tickets, some train models. <laughs> what? You could buy these tickets for two dollars. That's kind of cool. And we have a popcorn machine, which I've Never seen before. I wonder if it tastes good. Have you ever gotten the popcorn? Yes, I've gotten the popcorn. I got the popcorn back in 07. I can almost guarantee you they've still got the same popcorn. <laughs> in there now because I don't think anybody else it's probably Showa popcorn. era popcorn too. You know what? I kind of feel like we should, should we get try some it? Popcorn right now. 
This place is so weird. What are those? They're just balls. What? You got 100 yen? I really, yeah, I do. I like how it's like. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Bread in a can, yakitori, grilled chicken yeah, yeah, yeah. in a oh, can. Yeah. You can get a muffin in a can right here. That is a muffin <laughs> in a can. That is bread in a can. <laughs> You can get oh, Odin, what? and for some reason, you can get random balls. <laughs> I like the balls. That's, yo, if, that's a okay, nice that's touch. Not even the, yo, <laughs> that's not even the beginning. Oh god, right? there's more. There's more. Oh, what? There's more behind here? Oh yeah, there's more behind here. What okay. is that? Check that out. What is it? <laughs> Don't even know. It's just oh, bells. Random bells on just a string bells. for 750 yen. <laughs> Mini carrots? Minna no suzu. Bells for everyone. More. <laughs> yeah. Candies. What are the bouncy balls? Yep. I get a whole Ten thing. bucks for the bouncy balls. Okay. Balls. All right. You wanna you wanna get really creeped out? Come yes. here. Come here. <laughs> okay. I I don't even know how to begin explaining things, but things get really freaky what? when you look at what's in here. What are they? Read them. You're gonna get freaked out what? by reading these. Thank you. I'm gonna thank you. What? But what's inside? It doesn't say what's inside. What? Each it of just them tells has, you like, like a weird like. It's got a really weird messed up story. It's like a story like about a this guy that like. Box. I don't even know how to explain the story. You don't want to. explain <laughs> And you read one that wasn't that bad either. Some what? of these are messed up. They're talking about like you know like scamming people, like cheating on their wives. Really weird stories. Well, we have to get a box. Have you ever gotten a box <laughs> before? Never got, I have never gotten a box. I'm kind of afraid to well, get a box. We have to get a box. All right. We can't then, come here and not get a box. We're still not done. There's more. What? I Coming love this here, place. Oh my god. I barely fit in here. This is this is tight. All right. So there's more vending. There's more boxes. Yep. More boxes. Oh. Another popcorn machine. <gasps> oh yeah. my god. I don't know which popcorn machine I'm trying. Oh, Dan. Oh, this place is you can get so weird. What is that? What kendama? <laughs> yeah, you can get a mini kendama. <laughs> Emergency set. <laughs> oh. Well, at least you. There we go. There we go. Something good came out of it today for sure. If you're ever in Akihabara and an earthquake hits, you need a sudden emergency. You know set. where to get an emergency this set. Right here. One thousand three hundred yen. In an emergency, a helpful uh, charger, battery charger. There we go. And then. You and then a cup of machine right beside <laughs> And some more bells, of course. Of course more bells. <laughs> there are snails in a can in that vending machine over there. Which box should we get, guys? <laughs> Charlotte's going all in on this. She's getting a box. You can't do this video and not get a box. Okay, they're all 490 yen. It looks like they're all the same price, but they're different sizes. Should we get a mini box? Should we get a larger box? <laughs> what are you thinking? There was one over here about like Edo DVD and Edo home. I've chosen my box. We're going with lucky number 31. If you can read Japanese, go for it. I'll translate my favorite line for you, for those of you that don't. It says, alright, straight away I'm gonna take a crap and go to bed. Sounds like a great story. There, there must be something cool inside this box. Buy five dollars. <laughs> <gasps> Number thirty-one. Here it comes. I can't this believe is, you're it's like doing Christmas. Ooh. What do you think it's gonna be, guys? My bets on sex toys. <laughs> Because we're in Akihabara. <laughs> How heavy is it? It's quite light. You see? It's quite light. Oh yeah, but there is something in there. there is, yeah, at least it's not an empty box. No, there's something in there for sure. Ooh, what is it? <laughs> All right. 
great. Here we go with this like super creepy box opening. That just it's peels like, right off. It's made, is there a message? It's made of all those stories. Oh my so god. The wrapping is all those stories. I wonder if it's food. I really hope it's not food. I can't believe you've never bought one of these before. Oh my god, oh my is god, it crackers? Is it, what? I love how you're like, I can't believe you've never bought one of these before. <laughs> I can't believe you did buy one of them. It's literally a box of crackers. No way, is that actually what's in there? Is that what they all are? Looks like they could be. Is it actually crackers? That's what I want to know, is it actually crackers? I think so. I want to be the first to say I'm not <laughs> eating those crackers. <laughs> There's not a one? chance in the world that I'm eating those crackers. The popcorn, yes. They're vegan. No way. <laughs> They're vegan crackers. If there you're not hungry and you get desperate for a vegan meal, <laughs> she's actually. What if I die? Mm, they're good. They're fresh. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been in there for like ten years or anything. I'm happy with my purchase. <laughs> <sighs> Well, I, I have to say, I was not expecting it to be a box of crackers. You've surprised me. <laughs> yeah, bro. <Ryan. laughs> you want your own creepy box, which is probably filled with crackers, but some of them are different sizes and some of them are like $10. I'll leave the location of this mystery uh, vending machine area down below. Check it out. Make sure to go check out my friend Norm who is with me today. He made a couple of videos today and he did a very amazing explanation of how to choose a vlogging camera, which I think will be very helpful for lots of you guys that are interested in doing YouTube. So I'll link him down below. So go check him out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. It's crackers. They're really good. You won't regret it.